Welcome back to the Roma One Popular Opinions. Today I will finally be doing the flip through of the 2021 bullet journal. It is not complete. It is not complete, but I still felt like doing 2021 because I did the last one up until March. So I thought I'd kind of close this one off actually at the end of the year. It is very, <laughs> very much bulky because of everything that I stuck in. But I still hope you find this sort of fun because I was able to use better materials in this one and like markers and stuff because the pages are really thick. This bullet journal is from Notebook Therapy and in any case I hope you enjoy the flip through. I'll try and not make it too long. Anyway let's just start out. This is the first page. Thankfully there's no like contact information to blur out so this is the I wrote something stupid down here so I just covered it up with this because I didn't really like it. And then immediately we go into the spreads. This is the first one I did for April and I think this one might run out just before April again so it would seem that I need yearly journals which is a little weird but to be fair the last one that I had had way more pages. These are just thicker. I did like a vague Pirates of the Caribbean theme here. And I experimented with the habit trackers, as you will notice for sure. The sleep trackers, I think, look really nice with markers in, though. And not just colored pencils. This is <laughs> my birthday. Then I finally started doing, like, this sticking in the actual book covers thing and not just writing down the titles as I did in the last journal because this one can actually handle it. I started doing like best of the month and best visual media of the month which means like best movie and tv shows of the month and best books. This is May. I did like a I mostly pick out a color scheme rather than a theme and then just run with it. I don't know why I wanted a magic book here, but I just, I roll with it. But the most important thing here are the colors. Sometimes I will do the sleep tracker with one color and other times I will do it with two, as you will see. I always do May the 4th. I literally always do it in any bullet journal. I don't know why, but I love doing these spreads and printing out stuff. So most of the images are Clone Wars, so. And then we have June, which was supposed to be Attack on Titan. So I did quotes from Attack on Titan instead of titles. And I did the colors, as you will see, like, yeah, greens and blues and grays or silvers as you can see here very very glossy and then this is this i was trying out the washi tapes the notebook therapy washi tapes that i bought so this is just random spread and this is just highlights from when i went to the seaside now this is July. This is where I actually used all of the washi tape that I got and I really kind of love the way they look. See like these are two different types of blues even though it might not be noticeable. Didn't read that much in July but I still somehow managed to get the full page. August is probably my least favorite because I hate doing just titles and then washi tape. This is how I did it in my old bullet journal and I really dislike this way so this is why I don't do it past August. And you're, you're gonna notice how I sometimes do Roman numbers. I don't know why it just <laughs> the mood strikes me sometimes. This one was very pretty though. Types of gray. As you can tell, I also kind of like types of gray. And I use these like random spreads for something that I really like or am liking at the time. But I try not make them as freaking frequent as in the last one. Here we have September, which was va again vaguely Dazai. Aside from this like cover page, this is where I did my Bungo Stray Dogs rewatch. Aside from the cover, I don't think there's really that much to do with him it's mostly just craft paper and greens we have l for some reason this was the these are the spreads for the magical readathon 
here I just took out stuff from a comic book my dad gave me that he was going to throw out. So I just rolled with it for October. And this I am still filling in because this is all class stuff. I did this for Halloween because I I always make like my books red spreads large but then if I didn't read that much that month I do random stuff here I made a mistake as you can see <laughs> and here I was starting to play with the vertical habit trackers but that's so tedious to do so I don't think I did it for many more months past like November this is actually very pretty and I like how it turned out here we have November which was NaNoWriMo month so I put a lot of Edgar Allan Poe stickers from BSD I liked the I like this type of font I think I'm gonna do that again for sure I did like a postcard theme and as you can see like literally like a postcard and then this sort of font typewriter font again Edgar Allan Poe and <laughs> Carl I won NaNoWriMo, which was definitely a highlight. I love it when I read manga because I get to fill in a lot. So this was Noragami month. And then again, nor highlights. December, I doodled for the first time, I think, in this journal because I hate, hate drawing and I am not good at it. So this is the current month. Obviously, it's not completely filled in yet. I think the doodle still turned out pretty good. And this is something that literally everyone can do. Not the month isn't done yet. Obviously here I will stick in like stuff that I liked during the holidays or if I have an image or something. This is definitely not done yet. I love these washi tapes. I got them in Ikea. And then we have best movies of the year, best series of the year, best books. Didn't fill that in yet. And then these like random ones, top four anime, top four characters of all time. And then we've got 2022. So this is it. For the journal, this is not going to be a lengthy video, but I still kind of wanted to showcase how much I changed my techniques from the last bullet journal. And if you're someone who loves to journal too, maybe it gave you some inspiration. And if you're not, then maybe you didn't click on this video at all. But in all case, in all cases, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.